Unit 31, question 95 to 98, the choline ion, quaternary ion. Um, hmm. The alkene formed is the greatest part is the one that is least substituted with alkyl groups. Hmm. A little unusual. So, and uh, then they give a reaction and one butene and two butene products. And two butene is the minor product because it has less substitutions because um, this is a carbon double bonded to a carbon and uh, if it has one carbon group like that then this is a mono substituted uh, carbon double bond um, but then the two butene product this is the one butene product has that kind of setup but the two butene product has a uh, carbon group on this side and it has a carbon group on this side. So this is called a di-substituted product. So it's got twice as many substitutions at the carbon-carbon double bond. Now, um, consider trimethyl da-da-da. The major product most likely would be... Okay, so keeping in mind that we want uh, a product that has... Uh, uh, the fewest number of substitutions. Um, well, product number two is di-substituted because uh, we have, um, so I'm looking at product number two, you're going to see that it has carbon, carbon, and there's hydrogen here. This is not considered any substitution. Then there's a carbon group and another carbon group. So this is di-substituted. But uh, the one which has um, carbon, uh, molecule number three, we have carbon, double bonded to carbon, double bond, uh, single bonded to a carbon here. There's a carbon here and a carbon here. So this is tri-substituted. One, two, three substitutions at the carbon double bond. Less uh, desirable for this type of reaction. And then uh, for four, we have the carbon, carbon double bond. And then we have this carbon that has a carbon here and a carbon just below, and then it has another carbon here. So one, two, three substitutions at the, at the carbon. So um, not good. <laughs> so uh, they, this is the only one that has dye substituted. So this is the uh, major product. So um, 96. The only alkene produced when choline hydroxide is heated with a base would be hydroxyethylene. Okay, so it is hydroxyethylene, so it's like ethene or ethylene, and uh, hydroxy, so OH. And that's about it. Just for fun, I'm just going to put in the hydrogens, uh, which is, uh, there's going to be an H2 here, and there's a hydrogen here. Okay, so that, and it immediately uh, rearranges to form acetaldehyde, which is, um, they're saying it immediately turns into this because it's unstable. The reason that only the one alkene would be produced is because the other three alkyl groups attached to the nitrogen carbon are all the same. Well, that's not relevant because if you look at these reactions, that have the uh, three uh, CH3 groups attached to the central carbon. Um, that's not the thing that's turning into the alkene. <laughs> it's not that. It's the other substituent uh, that's attached to the nitrogen. That's the one that's turning into the alkene. Um, ethylenes do not exist in isomeric forms, so only one structure is possible. Well, um, I don't think the wording here is perfect, but uh, nonetheless, um, you can see that, uh, um, that if the OH group is attached here, or if the OH group is attached on the other carbon, it would be the identical um, molecule one way or the other. And also, uh, ethylene is, does not have enough substituents uh, to create so many isomers as other um, compounds would. So answer choice B uh, certainly does um, sound interesting. And the other C and D just are not relevant. It's, it's just not uh, related to this 
um, uh, in any way that I can see. And so, um, yes, and, and by the way, of course, um, you know, these alkenes uh, can create geometric isomers, you know, EZ uh, isomers, cis-trans isomers, uh, alkenes um, do this kind of thing. Um, but uh, yes, they're looking for the best answer, and the best answer is B. 97. <clears throat> the major hydrocarbon, um, I'm just going to get a little bit more space here. The major hydrocarbon product formed uh, when a certain quaternary ammonium ion is heated with base is blah. And you can see that blah is a uh, tri-substituted compound. There's three R groups, three uh, alkane groups uh, bonded to the uh, carbon double bond. The structure of the quaternary ammonium ion uh, that could give uh, this as the major product. So um, we're trying to imagine um, a hydrogen being removed and then creating a new bond. So of course, you know, I could see it happening and how it happens. So I'm just gonna, you know, show you. Uh, here's the nitrogen. Um, Here's the CH3, 3, and um, okay, so uh, what happens here is that um, the, if a uh, proton, because this Basically, this is an elimination reaction. Elimination means you are removing atoms from the original compound. And what atoms are we removing from the original? So here's the original. We are going to remove one hydrogen here, and we're going to remove this nitrogen. So this nitrogen is going to be removed. This hydrogen is going to be removed like this. And then what we end up with is a double bond here. That's the point of elimination, is that you remove two atoms and you replace those two atoms with a double bond. So this um, hydrogen, once, uh, once this hydrogen is removed, and it's removed as a proton, H+, so if, if this was neutral and H+, is removed, then we have a negative charge here. And the negative charge comes in here, boom, knocks that out, knocks these electrons over uh, to, to nitrogen. So this leaves, nitrogen is very happy uh, to be over here with uh, its three bonds to methyl groups. You know that nitrogen is happy to be NH3, so of course it would be happy to be like this as well. And um, we have a, a bond that's created here, so just keeping the same structure, we have carbon, 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 and then we have a double bond that's created here, carbon and carbon. Notice that there's a hydrogen here, okay, that's not uh, been written. And now you can see that this is the same molecule as the molecule that uh, was given. So this is the answer C. Answer choice C is the correct answer. Next, question 98. Okay, so uh, the cyclic amine, piperidine, can be converted into quaternary ammonium ion and then heated with an excess strong base. Okay, well, first let's see what that looks like. So we have... Um, okay, and... Uh, if this is quaternary, then we're going to add some R groups here, and uh, we're going to put a positive charge. And so quaternary means there are four R groups attached to the nitrogen, tertiary, three R groups, just like if it was a carbon, and secondary, um, two, etc. So this is what we have, the cyclic gamma. Now, for a hydrogen to be removed, the hydrogen would be removed from a neighboring carbon, 
uh, not here, but over here. And the hydrogen removed here would create the negative charge. It would drop here, make the double bond between the carbon. And then this would be the leaving group. So there would be two leaving groups again. It's going to be this and this. And then we get a double bond that would be created here. So first this is removed and this is negative charge. This is attracted to carbon, which is delta positive. And then this bond has to break and brings the electrons over. So what we would end up with is a double bond like that, like this, doom, 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 nitrogen and two R groups. So if this reaction was allowed to proceed to the major hydrocarbon obtained is most likely and notice by the way this is uh, this is um, only a mono substituted uh, alkene here there's only one R group attached to this double bond very nice I mean uh, uh, very happy <laughs> least substituted is the major product that um, they, they were looking for so um, cyclopentane uh, they ask, is this cyclopentane? No, this is not cyclopentane. It's, it's, a, it's clearly an alkene and an amine. Um, so is it one pentene? No. One pentine, which means a triple bond? No. So uh, it's not, none of A, B, or C. So answer choice D. 98 is D.